Okay, we are here. The final mission of Guild Wars 1 Prophecies in our Nostalgia playthrough. We have gone from Ascalon pre-searing all the way through Tyria, woven our way through here, and we are finally at Hell's Precipice. Um, very excited for this mission. This is the end of Prophecies, but it's not the end of our playthrough. There will be some more videos coming up. Um, I'm still in the process of thinking about like what comes next, but I got some ideas. Anyway, we are going to be running a Fever Dreams build because we just capped this skill last episode. Um, I'm not really exactly sure how to use it correctly though, honestly. Like, I don't know if I should use it after I've put conditions on or before I put conditions on. But I think, yeah, these are the skills I'm going to be bringing. Uh, I can talk through it as we're going, actually. Also, my henchman, I decided not to bring the mage henchman. The, uh, what's her name? Sin. Because she's a fire mage, and almost all the enemies here take reduced fire damage. So I didn't think that was wise, and I opted to bring double fighter. I haven't done that, like, in a long time, so gonna be interesting the main objective in this mission is to just be very careful about who we aggro um, yeah let's jump into it disable the titan portals destroy the lich all right very simple oh yeah the build works by putting fever dreams at least I, this is how i think it works you put Fever Dreams on an enemy, and then any condition you put on him will get transferred to nearby enemies. Obviously, it's too far now because I put it on the warrior. And then I also brought Mantra of Flame for these spark, spark of the hand imps that are quite brutal, I'm being honest. The annoying thing here is that when the when the titans fall, they kind of rise up and respawn like smaller enemies. The first one's a the big one is a is a warrior. The second one is a necromancer, and then the final two are also warriors. The titans really are not the issue though. The hardest part, like the worst enemies here, are imps. They're called Spark of the Titans. And they all carry Mind Burn and they all just nuke your whole party. And it's really annoying because whenever I flag my team, they gather up like in a tight ball. So it's really tough you'll see what I mean can't attack him I think we can let's take out these clumped up guys first you're tempted to take out the burning titan because it's scary and big but I think it's better to take out the necromancer first he, he brings up bone horrors. Get them clumped up. Here we want the enemies clumped up so I can get massive spike damage. problem is they don't really have a lot of blood <laughs> the, the enemies don't so uh, conditions like poison disease and bleeding have no effect and then they're also titans so burning also has no effect so that's like 
three, four different conditions that they're not effective on, so maybe this is not the best build to use. But I still want to try and make it work. So far we have deep wound, weakness, um, burning, bleeding, and then Little Tom also has a deep wound. But I think just between us having two conditions also puts dazed. So then that's another and that's another condition we have. Altogether we have quite a few. Are these guys connected, yeah. The enemy groups are decept deceptively large because they spread out quite a bit. We have to take sparks out first Just, that was only two of them and it almost destroyed our team we also have a lot of interrupts because we're bringing the uh, devona He's got knockdowns. Um, Dunham has power block, which is a really good interrupt. And then Aiden also has, I think, at least one interrupting skill. Also, I'm sorry about my voice. It's kind of gravelly because I didn't have a chance to record last night. And so I woke up a little early to do it today, and my voice is not in the best condition. Got these sparks. Need to interrupt. There we go. Whenever they grew up, group up like that, totally fine. But whenever they're separated and... Ooh, almost forgot about the extra enemy there. Whenever they're separated and you're not able to AoE first them... Bad news, man. Probably, I haven't had much effect of using Power Drain, and there's a lot of warrior enemies. I'm kind of regretting bringing it, because the only enemies we can interrupt then are the Sparks and the Necromancer Titans. Not very reliable energy gain, I guess. Probably should have brought, like, energy... energy tap or something. This is not a super energy intensive build though, actually. There's a lot of only five energy cast. Look, that was a ton of interrupts. Interrupted every single skill. If I can successfully get dazed off on the sparks, dazed is a really cool condition. If if they get hit by any attack while they're dazed and casting a spell, it interrupts them. Also, it takes like double, it makes them take double the time to cast a spell. Pretty cool. Also, in Hell's Precipice, like I just got hit by a random meteor. Yeah, there's meteors falling from the sky that will knock you down randomly. Holy, how, how am I supposed to take out this enemy? Look at all those sparks. That is scary. I think we're meant to not do that. <laughs> we're gonna go this way. Is it even possible? I'm really scared if I aggro one of them. 
that the whole group will just like come at me. This is also a big group here. I think. I think I'm gonna try and pull this group over here because I don't really want to fight here. We could risk both enemies coming at us. I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna aggro far. My longbow. Got stuck on the mountain. Oh my god. Make sure I got Mantra Flames up. Take out the sparks. Oh no. Oh no. One, there's two more. One more. Even with my Mantra, man. Take 122 damage. These guys clumped up. Oh man, that was tough. These guys clumped up again. You guys are not too bad. I can put AoE and Feeble on them. Makes them weak. That's clumsiness. AoE interrupt for warriors. Clumsiness generally is a one skill and it just counters attacking enemies pretty easily. Wow, that was scary. Okay. The seer is here again. I would like to see him in action. Does he do any damage? Oh, he's getting attacked. He's not casting any spells. He's level 30. Look at all that damage he's taking. He's brittle, man. Okay. Oh, not over yet. Check the Titans will rend Tyria asunder. Dropping the Lich is the only real way to defeat them. Um, among the Titan Horde, their champions are Armageddon Lords. Alright, that's the bonus. Destroy all three Armageddon Lords. I don't know, man. I don't know if we can do it. <laughs> I'll be really happy just to finish this mission, actually. boss here. Oh, that's the Mesmer boss. He's got a pretty cool skill, I think. Oh, we aggroed. How did we aggro that guy? Get them grouped up. Maybe I should cast a people right away so that I can get weakness spread on them first. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Fear is helping us here. Nice. 
I wonder if he dies now. Do we fail the bonus? I don't think so. We can kind of... We can kind of drag some enemies to him. I don't think he does much damage though, honestly. He's by himself. I think we can take him. He's dazed. You see that? Those little rings? And the bosses do not have... Um, they don't summon any smaller titans, I don't think. We get burning on these little pits. Okay. I think I want to go around here. I don't want to fight that group and then this group come down. I'm going to aggro these guys. Again, it's just these three sparks that I'm terrified of. Let me aggro through here. Run up here. Get them to clump up in this little choke point. Right there. Lost little Tom. Oof. That was a tough fight, and there was not even any sparks there. Ah, I'm so scared of this group, man. I'd like save the game and then re reload if we wipe here. I honestly miss fighting the Mursat. Can they come back? Try and get these guys alone. I interrupted one of them. Oh no. In this one. Okay. Not so bad. He interrupted them. Ooh. Man. I was really scared of that group. Oh, they have AoE. The Shadow of Fear is a pretty good curse. first. Oh, 
bad. I kind of wonder if I if I had stuck to my energy surge build from last episode. Might have been a little more effective actually. The fever dreams is kind of fun. I like seeing all the conditions and the numbers pop up in that burst. I don't think it's doing quite as much damage, but it's respectable. This also affects casters too. Who died that? Was it one of our warriors again? It's gonna be rough if they keep dying. They're gonna have too much. What do you call it? There's three more. I should have waited. Okay, they're grouped up though. I think this is good. Nice. Yeah, if they're grouped up, it's fine. <sighs> Lots of iron from these Titan armors. Okay, we're at a really tough part. This is where we have to decide if we're going to do the bonus, I think. Yeah, this section here. Group up, then I'll cast my AoE weakness. All right. We're doing pretty well, I think. I'm proud of my run so far. These are the lords. Problem is, we don't want to aggro all of them. How do we fight them? One at a time, you know. I don't want our warriors running in there. Okay. Nice. One down. Oh, they... Okay. Yeah, they... Respawn these guys. Oh, I don't know them do it. Armageddon down. A 
but they have some fire damage too. Not bad. I saved my power drain for that Aura of the Lich. Aura of the Lich is nasty. It makes him instantly turn all bodies, nearby bodies, into bone horrors. Only one left. Nice. I was scared of the bonus, but it's not that bad. Oops. Bonus done. Get out of my way. I can't see anything. Very nice. So even if we fail at this point, at least we can say we get the bonus. I don't think it's really possible to fail this yet. Well, where is this guy coming from? Scared me. Like, are enemies just gonna keep coming out of this? Okay, now we need to take out these portal wraiths around the perimeter here. Hard to tell, like... Okay, they're just by themselves. Take these stragglers out. Boss. Take out this little group here. I'm gonna try and whittle this like blob of enemies away. Interrupted that skill. They seem to be able to just make bone horrors out of nothing. They have a skill called 100 Blades, and it's a really good AoE skill for warriors. Need to make sure I spread out when they do that. Who's next? Just be very patient here. There's no time limit. Just need to take out these little ads. enemy is over there. That's when I need to aggro this boss. Oh, he's coming back. So that mob is kind of going back and forth here. 
The Spark and the Titan, though. Actually, we might not need to fight that group. While they move to one side and the other, we can just... That's whenever we can strike the portal. Same thing with this boss too, I guess. Yeah, let's wait till they go across. I'm just going to take out this first portal now. Three portal race, level 24. No interrupt in sight. <laughs> I think it's okay, though. Got dazed. That's one down. Now, the, this boss should come to us. Kill it really quick. Hurry up. Pull him farther back. No, come back, come back. Get a nice morale boost here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight that group actually. I don't have to. There is only one Spark of the Titans though, so I think we can take it out. But we don't have to fight them. I don't want to. I have less time now because this middle group, I need to burst down this middle group really fast. Nice. Interrupted. Oh, that was a glitch. For this one, we're actually going to go all the way around that way. I need to take out this Valley Tudo. Perfect, he came to us. Ranger boss. So it turns physical damage into fire damage, so they can take reduced damage from everything. It's annoying. There we go. Nice job, Tom. That was actually a really good, a really good uh, pull. Tom just straight up fighted them. That was awesome. Nice. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the end. The end is in sight. Wow, this one has some titans inside here. Let me see if I can pull just these small titans. I'm gonna explore up here real quick, actually. 
before I finish this out. Anything over here? No? <laughs> Weird. Alright, let's take out this last portal then. Some like worms or something pop out of nowhere. Wipe us all out. Okay, I need to try and pull the titans, I think. Yeah, they're not they're not in the same party, so we can get them one at a time this way. Your turn. The Lich will be really angry at that group for not even seeing us <laughs> knock in here. one is coming on coming our way naturally <laughs> let's go last group Portals popping back up. It's weird. Ooh, we did it. Took a quick, quick screenshot there. This meddling is nothing more than a minor annoyance. You are only delaying the inevitable. I'm pretty sure that's more than a minor annoyance. Took out your whole army. Come on. Be okay. But before I go, I have someone here you might like to talk to. Perhaps this will slow you down long enough to let me finish my work. Uh oh. Rorik? No. The biggest I twist. You to get reacquainted. I'm sure you have much to talk about. He still has fiery dragon sword. Oh, well, we gotta go back to the door of Komali. Seeker, 
all of Tyria shall bow to me or be destroyed. Forgive me. It is not my will to fight you, but I have little choice in the matter. Alright, let's, let's pull him back. Oh, we don't have to fight him all at once. Oh, you're too smart. And there's sparks of the titans too. Oh my gosh. I can take out just the fists and leave the sparks for last, that would be best. But we have to aggro all of them. I definitely have to take the sparks out first. Try this. That one. Okay, not so bad. I'm gonna come on this side and try to take out that group. Capture 100 blades from Rurik. Poor Rurik. He leveled up a little bit while he's undead. He's level 28 now. Oh no, we did aggro. Didn't even see them. Start attacking us. I'm useless at interrupts, man. This is just a dead skill. I think I got one, one interrupt off this whole, this whole mission. I should have brought Signet of Capture after all. Disappointing. Rorik. Listen to me. The door of Komali must be closed. Kill the Lich while he stands atop the Bloodstone inside the Caldera. If you do this, his spirit will recharge the soul batteries, and the door will close again. You have served Ascalon well. I beg of you, do one last duty for your prince. Anything, my prince. End my misery. Release me from the Lich's spell. If that is what you wish. <laughs> I had my bow equipped. <laughs> uh, what a way. What a way to go. Travel well, Prince Rurik. Until we meet you again in the Hall of Heroes. Okay, so I got the gist of what he's saying. We need to kill him on top of the bloodstone. This is where we fought those Mursat bosses, isn't it? Kind of cool. It, it has a combined area with the previous mission. I wonder if we were to go exploring that way. Could we? So those, those, uh, Titans are obviously there to show us where to go. Slow down. Okay. Ah, uh, 
this area was really tough last time with all the Mursat. I wonder if it's going to be easier or harder now with Titans. Where's the lich? Titans. He gonna spawn if I walk in here though? Oh, there he is. We need to kill him right here. Maybe we can just burst him down once he stands on it. He looks almost like he's got a limp. Those wings are too heavy for you, buddy. Little bit closer. Little bit closer. Eh. Oh, vortex. What does that do? Need to interrupt that vortex. Oh, I think this is it. It's just gonna stand there for us. Oh, no, no. Go back, go back. Need him on. Need him on the bloodstone. Now. This is not so bad. He's like really tired <laughs> and his titans aren't even helping him hurry up oh no he's not quite on there there we go Almost. Easy there, Tom. Hurry up. We're healing. Maybe I can stop his healing by hitting it with an arrow. This should be it. I think we can burst him down here. And just like that. He is gone. Oh, he healed again. That Titan now. I was a little too excited. I thought we'd finished him, but maybe not. Holy crap. No, 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 no. Stay there. I'm okay, guys. Fight him. Oof, that was scary. He did it. He healed again. Why is he healing? Do we need to be on the bloodstone too? Not sure what's going on. These things pop. Oh, we have to kill them each time to power up. He's. 
Let's take out the Titans first. Then. I think there's two more. Oof. Oh, we did it. We beat it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We needed to kill him like four or five times, something like that. Oh, good. Glint just pops up out of his body. He had my bow equipped that whole time, I guess. Oh yeah, we saw the dock. Oh yeah, what about the scepter? It just disappears? Do they ever explain like what these Mursat buildings are made out of? Are they bloodstones? Riding off into the sunset. <laughs> nice ending. Amazing. And now we are at Drachnor's Forge. We can choose our new item. All here. All of our NPC teammates. Yay! Thanks to your heroism, Vizier Kilbron, the Lich Lord no longer threatens Tyria. Uh, all Tyria owes you your gratitude, but we Deltamol Dwarves owe you an even greater debt. He regained his seat at Thunderhead Keep. We are forever allies accompanying me today are the finest Deltamol weaponsmiths. As a show of our eternal friendship, I offer you this Deltamol talisman. Which allows you to claim a weapon of your choice. Fight with honor, my friend. Awesome. We got a Deldramor Talisman. Here. We could sell it. <laughs> we just sell it to someone. Um, no, we're going to use it. Artisan of Illusion. I think I can finally get a weapon. I'm going to get a... I think I'm going to go with an Illusion Scepter. Or fast casting? Oh, that's a focus. If I get a fast casting scepter, I can use it for any build except have skill recharge or fast casting skills. You don't have any fast casting skills, so that'd be a waste. 
You could either go domination or illusion. I think I've been using more mostly illusion this playthrough. So I might get that. The other option is we can go here and we can get a scythe or even uh where's the or even um Alright, he doesn't have an enchantment in the wall. We could get daggers or... What am I trying to say? Illusionary weaponry. I don't really want to waste... Wow, that's a really good sword. The weapons for warriors are awesome. But yeah, we're gonna go with illusion. We gotta get... Illusion Scepter, I think, is the best way to spend it. Ooh. We went for it. And finally we have a new... Looks cool. It's like a mace, basically. Very cool. Alright. Here is a good place to celebrate. And to thank you all for sticking along with this playthrough. Couldn't... I mean... When I started out this, I didn't expect anyone. I, I was kind of expecting just to be making videos for myself and posting it and immediately had a really great loyal fan base, I feel like. Thank you to uh, Tar Heel, Guild Wars, Tinkle. You guys have been giving us lots of advice in the comments and Guild Wars in 2024, you gave me a lot of help on this mission, on this playthrough as well. So, the, this playlist, this might be the last episode of this playlist, but I'm planning to do more episodes um, to come with either going to Factions or Eye of the North. Um, I never really considered just going straight up to Eye of the North. I always figured I would do Factions next, but... There's been really good comments that have argued the case of just going straight into Eye of the North. Mainly for place, for storyline, and for lore, and the fact that it's all Interia. So I might... I'm kind of leaning towards doing that now. But I'm going to make a post, a poll, and if you have any insight, want to want to voice your opinion about what to do, what I should do next, please don't hesitate. And just, and uh, yeah, let me know. Anyway, I'll end the episode here, right at an hour basically. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, peace.